We're going to take a look at sinusoidal regression. It's similar to different types of regression we've seen before, but the one difference is we have to make sure that we are in radian mode. So anytime we're performing sinusoidal regression, make sure your calculator is in radian mode. And the form that the equation is going to be given to you in is going to look like this. You're going to notice it's different than the one we've been working with already in the fact that this B is now inside of the bracket. As soon as the B is inside the bracket, so if you take a look at over, over here at this example, C is no longer going to be the horizontal translation if we just take this value as is. If we factor out the B value, we can get the horizontal translation, but we can't just pull that value with the regression. In our example, we're comparing the month to temperature. I'm assuming that this is in degrees Celsius. And so we know that the independent variable is going to be the months and the dependent variable is going to be the temperature. Now I've gone ahead and sketched the graph. So we're doing two cycles. We're going from the start of the year. We could put January here. I just happened to put it here until December. And then we're starting again, January through December. When we plot those data points, we can see that it forms a sinusoidal curve. So that indicates we're going to do sinusoidal regression, entering month into list one, entering temperature into list two. Now, because we can't type in January, February, March, etc., we're going to put in the numerical values, first month, second month, third month, and so on. All right, so anytime we do regression, we're going to turn on the stat plot. We're going to set an appropriate window. So I'm going to go from negative one just so I can see that y-axis. And because I'm doing two cycles, I'm going to go up to 24 months with a scale of one so I can see every one month. And then I'm going to go a little bit lower than my lowest y value and a little bit higher than my highest y value. And then we can take a look. Now this is only graphed one cycle because if we go into the data here, we entered our data into list one and list two. I only entered for the one year. And then we've got our data points there. All right, so now we're going to go back to stat over to calculate and then you can use the up arrow and there's sinusoidal regression, it's value C, so we're gonna press enter. Now I did this on the TI-84, TI-83 you know the steps by now. This particular calculator is gonna come up with iterations. The default is three, so you don't need to worry about that this year, so just leave it as is. We've got list one, list two, period you need to leave blank. So do not put anything into period. On the TI-83 calculator, yours will be the same where you do that list one comma, list two comma, and then go right into the vars. So TI-84 people, you're gonna come down here to store regression equation, and then you're gonna go vars, over to vars, and then you're gonna go enter, 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 and there is your equation. Now remember, you're going to substitute this value for A in for A, this value for B in for B, uh, start with a zero, so it's gonna look like this, and our particular question wants us to round to the nearest hundredth, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And then we're asked to determine in which months the temperature might be expected to be 10 degrees. So going back to my little sketch, I can see that temperature is the y-axis. I'm looking for the number of months, which is the x-axis. So the easiest way to do this, it doesn't specify graph or equation, but if I put a 10 here, I don't want to rearrange this to get x. So I'm just going to go into my graph and I'm going to put in 10 for y2. We're going to graph it and we're going to get that point of intersection. Now I'm going to go second function trace number five to get where those two intersect. And again, you can look at the bottom of your screen here to see where that window is. I'm gonna do the one on the left first. So we're just gonna get close and then we're gonna go enter, enter, enter. So my first value is gonna be 4.56. So the fourth month is April. So in April, we're going to hit 10 degrees. And then I'm going to go second function trace number five again. And we're going to scoot our little cursor over here to where those intersect. So we're gonna go enter, enter, enter. And in the ninth month, so in September, it's also going to be expected to hit 10 degrees. And then you can see this is just gonna be year two, so I don't need to worry about those values. And there you have it, that's sinusoidal regression. Same as always, draw a sketch, label your axes, be really clear on what it is we're looking for, and then make sure you include the appropriate units.